Hi everyone, well, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Wasengishu parents had staged a mass demonstration to disrupt the evolution conference that is taking place in Wasengishu County. They had mentioned from the beginning when they had the meeting with Mandago and Governor B, they said the evolution conference will never take place in Wasengishu as long as we have not been paid our money. So their aim was to disrupt until they get the attention of the president and any person who is willing to help in whichever way. But later, uh, we saw those parents and the students were coerced and then they were talked to to call off those demonstrations. And indeed, we saw the demonstrations were called off. They don't go to street to demonstrate. And as we are talking now, the evolution conference is going on very well and disrupted and everything is in order. At the same time, we saw the arrest of Wasegishi Senator Jackson Mandago. <laughs> and this one looked like a script we had already shared earlier. It just looked like a script. Luta Nambia Mandago. Macha Mimi. Nita wangea na ukali. Nikienda kule. Niwangea kapisa. Niwambie ata polisi. Washike huyo Mandago. Niwambie ata wakuja wakushike. Ata kiezekana huyo jifiche ata na upatikana saa zingine. Lakini wakushike yonekana ni kama imambo inadalea. Lakini chini ya maji tucheza. Mambo ikisha tulia, mambo inarudi normal. This can be a script. And they are acting the script very well. Indeed, it is happening and is working for them. So Ruto was there addressing the issue to do with the Finland saga. And I wanted to listen to his speech because at the end of this speech, you realize that even the same William Ruto has no any plan to offer a solution to the parents and the students who were affected by this Finland sack. Mom. Now, as we continue this panel discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and uh, you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Brothers and Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, you heard what Ruto is saying in that video? <laughs> two things, two things, two things. That is going to help those students to get to university locally here. That's number one. Number two, he's saying that they will follow that case to the end and the police are doing their work. He will not disrupt it, but the money will be returned. He has not offered any solution, but is giving promise. What do you know, William Bruto, when it comes to promises? Is it new for Roto to give a promise? Is it hard for Roto to give promise when he's in public rally? Promises is a normal thing to William Bruto. Roto can promise you anything. He loved that Bingoni, they always have promise. And they have promise Bingoni when they are he can promise you anything at any point. But you should not concentrate on his promises. Look on what he's doing, not what he's promising to do. What was Wasengish, Ruto has duped you. He has challenged you. I'm a bigger chenga. I'm a bigger chenga. And the way he is as of now is just laughing happily. That indeed he has dealt with your people. It's your own son. Mutien. If Ruto was serious on this matter, it is not such today. He would have gone to Asagishu and meet with the parents and take details. Let the students and say, I have placed them in this university, this one and this one going forward. That one will look like at least he's bringing a solution or calming down these students. 
in a good way. It will look like us, but giving a promise, na uamini, ni nani huyu mwenye anazamini ruto, akipeana ahadi. Ahadi za ruto ni kama hewa. Hot air. So, in as much people are clapping and happy, Ruto delivered hot air to you. You must be smart. They are playing with your mind here. Mandago was just a spanner boy for Ruto in all this saga. Politicians were biggest beneficiary and that money was used for campaign. That's why they are playing with you guys. They don't want to bring a solution. And I would just ask a simple question. When these parents were selling their properties, including land and everything they could have, to take their children to Finland and Canada. Kwa niyo pesa inge tosha kupeleka mbroto university hapa Kenya? If parents were selling property on a scale, mimi milioni moja na nusu, mimi milioni mbili, mimi 1.8, hiyo pesa itosha kusomesha mtoto hapa. See, you can pay school fees hapa. That money can pay. That's the truth. Why is Ruto telling parents that he's going to help those students to go in university here in Kenya? He has no solution for you. The reason why parents could sacrifice up to 2 million, I've had some even paid 3 million. They wanted eh, their children to get out of the country, go to overseas so that when they finish their university degree, they can at least acquire a job in those countries rather than coming back here in Kenya and start tamaking for many years without job and the only job William Rose government is promising to look at Shagwa ni Yamujengo. Yes. Kashagwa ni Yamujengo graduate hile kazi tukonayo ni Yamujengo. So wasingishu parents they were not stupid. In other words, they were looking for a long term solution. Wezu kuwa na 2 million na useme, mtoto yako hezi yana university yapa Kenya na amaliza shuda. Atamaliza. Mini, atamaliza. They had a plan. They knew what they were looking for. So, parents should ask themselves, why did Ruto say that he's going to help them by joining the local universities here? That means he's telling you, forget about Finland, we cannot follow that uh, 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 that saga to help you so that you can achieve your dream. Their dream was in Finland and Canada, not here in Kenya. Here in Kenya, if you are dreaming, the only dream that you can achieve ni Yamujengo. Kazi ya pili ni kutama na kutafuta kazi. So when I listened to Ruto, I knew Ruto knows exactly what these parents were looking for. But you see, he is telling them in a soft way that I will help you, but look and hear. Your dream has been killed by William Ruto. If he was a good president, ata ye angetumia pesa ya serikali, kusolu fushida yenyu, alafa baki ya kikapambana na hao watu, warudisha pesa kwa serikali. Simple. Hawa ni wanafunzi. Wangasaidi wanamutu yoyote kwa hii serikali. You can't frustrate students to this level. Wapewe haki yao. Haifai kwa inchi yoyote. I used to be frustrated to this level. Hawa watu, wanasema tu wamekufa ni rohonde imebaki. It means they can even take suicide. Waneza jiuwa. Mtu wakisema mimi roho ilikufa tu ni mwili doiko. Inamanisha umefika mwisho kabisa. But Ruto does not care. That's why he's not telling you on how you will fly to Canada and Finland. Some of the people who were paying money had finished university degree here. Like that lady was talking. Yeye animaliza hapa, a graduate. Ilikuwa tuwa enda to further her education but with the main aim of getting a job as she continue with education. So the way was you get a scholarship and you move. Their big target to kisikia wakionge tukua kupata kazi bada ya college. So what are you telling them? Uyu unataka mpeleka wapi sasa? 
Number two, if they put you here in your university, and then uh, Ruto is saying that it, it does not mean that once we take you to university here, and that matter has been settled. No, we will follow the matter to the end, and the money will be returned. My friend, you are paying for this year. Come on, Ruto, I come to take you to university. Hapa, na manda garudisha pesa ataweka pale aseme pesa yenye ilikuja na ikadeba school fees hapa hamota rudishiwa in that way your dream has been killed so Ruto and Mandako are good friends and they are playing politics you are the biggest loser and they are seeing you as the ball that they can kick left right center and they don't care they duped the poor widows, orphans and hungry Kenyans, but they don't care. This is the kind of government we have in this country.